Right, so now that I've recovered from my electrical shock, um, this is the completed setup so far. I have our uh, 10 watt bulb in there. Um, now that coil you see there, or inductor, is one I made some time ago. Um, and what it is, is the core center is actually two ring magnets from a speaker glued together to make one large one. Um, they then have a primary winding, um, a steel wire wound core, and then a secondary winding. This one actually gives me better results than any other transformer I've tried in many different configurations. So what's actually happening here, we're coming from the generator and we're going to the inside coil around one way and then we go through this little cap and then we go to the outside coil around the other way and then um, over to our light bulb. Now the other side of the light bulb goes through our multimeter there through our cap bank and then back to um, another side of the generator or one of the uh, two phases that we're using. So that's basically the setup. So well, like I said in the last video I went through and graphed um, the consumption of our motor generator configuration and um, down the bottom we have our speed which of course 2468 um, as it does go up on the speed controller and on the side here we have our watts being consumed but I also wrote down the exact amount under each dot on the graph so we can be fairly precise so like I said this, this setup here is not going to play havoc with our watt meter because our watt meter is only reading the power being consumed by the motor that's running that generator so there'll be no um, messing up the watt meter what we see is what we get uh, so we have our scopes going to be reading the voltage across our light globe plus the circuit that's in it um, and also this meter here will be reading our AC current going into the light bulb so um, as you'll see the waveform is fairly clean so the amp meter and the scope will have no problem um, giving us fairly accurate readings so what we're trying to achieve is as good as or better than what we have here um, and of course we're going to mark this on this graph and compare the two at the end but what we must also do is when we're doing this graph is measure the power being sent to the uh, light bulb and we'll be using our volts RMS from our scope plus our current from our meter to make those calculations <coughs> so um, even if it is a little higher than this we also have to take into account the um, power being consumed by our light which of course will come off of this total um, that we were using so we'll just start it up I'll run you through um, a couple of the speeds and we can have a look so um, on number two we need um, 35.2 watts so we'll start the machine up Now it needs a certain voltage before the uh, circuit in this um, light bulb kicks in. Um, that is our waveform. So voltage, current is much the same, just a little out of phase. So um, 38 volts RMS there at 16 milliamps, which of course we'll put on there. Now we wanted 35.2 is open circuit, and we have 36.2. So um, we're a little higher, but like I said, we have to take into account the uh, power being consumed by our light, which will come off of that and hopefully 
it will be lower than this. So um, we'll just increase the speed a little bit to number four. And we want 38.3 watts. And we're using 38.7. So um, 38.7, 38.3, so we're using um, half a watt more. But uh, of course, like I said, we have to take into account what the um, light bulb is consuming, which is 18 milliamps at 40 volts RMS. <clears throat> uh, we'll give you one more. Go up to six. Six, we wanted 42.1 watts. And now you can see we're actually using 41 watts. So, um, plus our 38 volts RMS and 22 milliamps current. So I'm going to leave it at that. And um, I'm going to go through and continue on doing our uh, little graph here. But um, it's looking fairly interesting. Like I said, number six, we want 42.1 watts. And it's actually come down a little bit. It's around 40, 41, 40, 40, 40, 40, 7. So um, I couldn't get these results with any other transformer than this one. Now, I'm not saying this is something special because it's not, but um, it's, it's different in its configuration that it has um, a permanent magnet in the center. And um, we're using two coils in series with a capacitor and the rest of the circuit, but um, basically sending current through one way and then back the other way. So anyway, um, I'll go ahead, I'm going to graph the whole lot, um, like I did here with the wattage. I'll do the same on this, but I'll also put on top in red the um, watts being sent or consumed by our light bulb there. So that's what we have at the moment and um, we'll keep on going with this because uh, like I said we've hit number six and open circuit it was uh, 42 42.1 and running our light on number six now is 40.5 and about so um, yeah, fun times ahead I think.